So back in June-ish of 2016, I had lost a friend to suicide. And um, I think a lot of my inner conflict and just dealing with that came out in some of my illustrations around that time. And um, what's really special about being able to be genuine with your audience as an artist is that sometimes people can really connect with the shit you're dealing with. They might see a piece of it themselves, they might see a kernel of truth, and sometimes it inspires other artists. And that's the best thing, that's the best feeling ever. Um, so let me show you the illustration that sparked a recent commission by a musician that I highly admire. Um, and uh, yeah, let's start there. Right. Ignore the silly teacup lady on this side, but um, here it is. Uh, so it's a hooded woman in a boat holding a lantern over the water and looking into the depths. And below her boat is this giant monster creature woman looking back up at her. And um, there's an element of horror and there's an element of beauty here that I was trying to illustrate. Um, you know, we all have our monsters that lurk below. Um, and uh, sometimes we have to be fearless and confront these things. And that's what this woman on the boat is doing. She is fearless in her summoning, her confrontation with this deep dwelling, dark she beast <laughs> of the depths. So yeah, I posted that illustration on Instagram and Fat Von Free. He is um, a musician I've been following. We've been following each other for years. Um, I really admire his work. Um, and he posted a comment saying like, well, I can read it to you here. Um, I wanna write a whole album of dark instrumentals while staring at this and sing and play guitar and bass. Then I wanna give you a bunch of money to let me use it as album artwork. Then I want to release said music on cassette and then send you 50 of the cassettes out of the 100 I want to get up, meet up. Um, if there was a tracker on how much time I have spent looking at this drawing, it would be weird. Uh, and I am head over heels in love with this drawing, Chelsea. Uh, if you were to paint this with a black and purple thing, just shut up and take my money. <laughs> so... Uh, so we worked it out. Um, he ended up commissioning this painting behind me. Um, so uh, we both share an affinity, a love for the color purple. And so a lot of purple, a lot of purple. I made a lot of, I made sure there was plenty of purple for us both. You know, that was June, 2016. And now it's, where are we? February, 2017. So uh, what's awesome too about working with another artist is they understand the creative process, and so he was extremely supportive. Uh, he he was he was just super lenient on time. Um, he, I, I probably bugged him because I was constantly asking for when he needed the art, and he was just like, "Whenever you're done is when I need the art." So that was pretty amazing. It was a really cool experience. Um, so I started with the pen and ink, um, pen and ink drawing for the for his commission, and. I went and picked up a canvas and used my projector to project the illustration onto the canvas and then I traced it roughly just so that I could get the same overall layout uh, with some exceptions, some changes, some betterments, hopefully. Um, so once that was done, it was pretty much just, you know, um, primer and pen and ink and then I started slowly building up layers and layers and layers and layers of color until um, you see what it is now. Um, and uh, so I think 
I definitely draw, drew some inspiration from Van Gogh, the way he painted night uh, and just stars and sky. Um, so I have a lot of, I, I got very textural and loose at the topper part, at the topmost part of the canvas because I, in a sense, I wanted to keep the she creature, this, this creature of the deep, um, I wanted her to be sharper because in a sense, the p perspective is almost like we're in the water with her looking up at the robed figure. So she's a, of course going to be larger and, in, in, and sharper. Um, and then you have this water divide and then you see the hooded figure with her lantern. Up here I meant it to be more painterly uh, and a little foggy and misty and I wanted the glow of the lantern to kind of obscure and be very moody. During the course of uh, me and Fat Von Fries correspondence uh, on getting these pieces of work finished for him, he kind of talked about why it felt right to him, why he needed this piece to be made, and um, you know, a lot of his, a lot of his art, a lot of his music explores his own feelings about his life and his experiences. And uh, he shared with me that he'd gone through some losses, and he recognized those desolate feelings. He recognized the anxiety. Um, but he also saw that roped figure standing there in the face of all of it, kind of fearless and powerful in like this weird summoning calm. And uh, so he was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I gotta have it in front of me. I wanna make music to it. And um, I'm just super thrilled about it. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, he didn't just commission this piece, he also commissioned a duplicate painting on a broken skateboard. Um, so that was a trip for me. I've never painted in duplicate before. Um, luckily, you know, it's, it's, it is a different format. Um, you know, I've got more sky to play with here. Uh, so, and you know, the painting was really meant to be a little bit more minimal in, in the uh, color composition. Um, this was mostly supposed to just be only purple and green. I got a little carried away. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, I definitely spent a little bit less time on this piece versus, I mean, the months that I worked on this. Um, you know, but I think, I think it's interesting. It's, it's, it's like a little rougher, uh, perhaps a little bit more guttural even. And um, it was a really good exercise for me to do to the same painting essentially um, and just playing with color and composition um, so I don't know I think he's gonna give this to somebody uh, so that's kind of neat too to have somebody um, really vibe with your art who is an artist themselves who wants to make art based on your art and then share it with somebody else um, as an original painting too um, so yeah Definitely, I will be updating you on any news uh, that Fat Von Free gives me about his series or his, his music that he wanted to make. I don't know if it's going to be a song or a few. I mean, I guess he did mention a cassette, but you know, um, there's a lot of time that's gone by between his initial ideas and now, and I see him just constantly posting all of this new music and I think he's kind of fast approaching like masterdom with his craft and that takes you in different directions so I'm really interested to see um, what he ends up doing if anything I think if anything I'm just excited that my piece will be in his home and potentially inspire him and his art and I get to listen to that and that's just gonna be like this awesome psychotic moment um, but uh, I want you guys to also check out his music. Um, so his name is Leroy. Uh, he goes by Fat Bon Free. Let me read you his bio. He says, just a dude from Central Texas trying to make a blend of Maynard James Keenan, Curtis Mayfield, and the Alchemist, Government Mule, and Delta Blues. 
I play bass, lead guitar, sing, and record. Hit me up, download some stuff, and listen. If you like it, tell me. If you hate it, tell me. So, uh, let's see. And, um, and you can find his art on Bandcamp under Fat Von Free. That is F A T V O N. F-R-E-E, -E. Uh, and he goes by that name on all social media, so you can also check him out on Instagram under Fat Bon Free, Facebook Fat Bon Free, um, SoundCloud, I mean, um, everything. I don't Twitter, uh, so um, go scope his music out. And uh, he's actually based in Tokyo, which is amazing, because that means I get to ship these to Japan. Um, that's amazing. I've always wanted to visit Japan. I don't know if I ever will get to, but at least I kind of will, in the end, have a piece of myself living over there. That's not weird for you, Fat Fun Free. Sorry if that's weird. But, but I'm, 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 just, I'm just really excited. I get super excited anytime I realize my art's traveling um, outside of the U.S. I just, it's just, it's just cool. I will be making prints of this eventually. Um, but I'm mostly excited about getting the file done so that we can start designing these cassettes. Um, if uh, Fat Von Free is still wanting to produce those cassettes that he was talking about, um, recording his music into and uh, making a limited edition press of. So um, I will keep you informed. If you are interested in purchasing one of those cassettes, if you are interested in collecting um, prints. Uh, keep an eye out on my various social medias and my Etsy shop, which is lucidopticlab.etsy.com uh, for new stuff. New stuff indeed. And, you know, um, you know, the world is awesome and mysterious and awful and disgusting. And there's like these, there's this like super heady contrast that I keep talking about. And, um, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that is that is and what makes everything better is when we can communicate and connect um, and inspire and motivate so if you have you know if you ever have the ability to reach out to, to a creator that you appreciate and um, you know tell them about your your situation and and how your their art is connecting with you uh, that means a lot that means a lot and it, it and it can mean a lot too if you have any ability to fund them by doing things like commissioning art or buying prints or anything um, it's it's just it's it's beautiful and it's returned <sighs> gosh I think I'm done talking um, for the moment <laughs> Um, I really hope that you enjoyed listening to this story about a uh, random illustration that came out of a stunned me <laughs> and touched another fellow artist that, you know, inspired me to actualize this painting. Um, you know, who would have known if he hadn't reached out to me? Um, and made me paint this if it had ever been painted if it just stayed in a sketchbook, you know, and uh, You know doing this is making me realize I need to go back through my sketches I need to go through back. I need to go back through my sketches and do more paintings You know anyway, that's why these things are great. That's why commissions are great is you know, sometimes they make you do something that um, You haven't been doing in a while. Sometimes they make you do something that's completely out of your usual comfort zone in art and um that's awesome so anyway if you want to commission me for something please let me know uh, there's various ways to reach out to me you can leave a comment um you can contact me on instagram i'm i'm on there as lucid rose uh, i also have a website chelsea rose arts there's a contact me section there and uh, you can send me a little email uh, I'd love to work with you on something. Um, if you've seen any of my illustrations that really caught your fancy and you want that made into something more, let me know. Um, I would just be thrilled because this this is just this is just thrilling, and this is what it's all about. <laughs> so 
Um, yes, and then also, uh, yeah, check out my Etsy shop. Mention that. Um, I'm putting more and more things in there every day. Uh, that's lucidopticlab.etsy.com. I am still doing Patreon. I have a Patreon account if you are interested in supporting me that way. Um, you know, just a few dollars a month. Really, if you want to contribute that, can really, really help me in, um, you know, st keeping stock on art supplies or, you know, having enough money to buy uh, new prints or capture more art um, or... Um, I'm really hoping to eventually do um, publish some of my earth goddess body painting photos in a book, you know, do some self-publishing. So anyway, if you could just do that, <laughs> if you are interested in supporting me, you're welcome to do that. And there's some kickbacks like Etsy coupon codes, and coloring pages, and more. That's patreon.com slash Chelsea Rose Arts. And don't forget, just by watching this video, by subscribing, by liking and commenting, um, that's a huge boost too. I mean, it's just good. It's just great to have support. And thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Tra-la-la-la-la. -la -la -la. Much love. Bye-bye.